The three seats up for grab for the CCU has attracted a diverse set of candidates. Number one on the ballot is former senator and current CCU chairman Simon Sanchez. Well, these are complex uh, utilities, complex problems, but they affect everyone's every daily life. And so I think I can help uh, make the utilities continue to provide better service and to do it as affordably as possible. Second on the ballot is former Public Works Director Andrew Leon Guerrero. What we really need is somebody that, that can open the books, can crunch the numbers, uh, make rational decisions, educated decisions on which direction Guam should take as far as GPA and GWA and whatever form of renewable energy there are out there. Former Senator and Guam Education Board Chairman Francis Santis is third on the ballot. In terms of qualifications, um, my background really is in business and I feel that since most of the issues right now affecting uh, you know, our power company, GPA, and also water have to do with the rates, so I can bring that level of expertise uh, to this new board. Earl Garrido is number four on the ballot and retired as a systems manager for GPA after 32 years. I, I, I feel that I'm, I'm a, a credible candidate because I know the insights and I know the outsides, which is the rate payers, because since I'm retired, I live on a fixed income. So every time the rate goes up, it hurts my pocketbook, just like it does the average rate pair. Fred Tupaz is a planner by nature and a consultant by trade with over 27 years of work experience and is number five. As a planner and as a consultant, I've worked hard to work with constituents to reduce their costs of how the government delivers their services to our, our end users. And I think that with uh, those qualifications and my ability to think uh, critically as well as uh, creatively, uh, makes me a good candidate for the position of CCU. Bill Hagen operates Pacific Pest Renewable Control Energy and Pacific Canada. Solar and Photovoltaics, and he is number started, six. Our company started renewable energy about six years ago, and we think it's time for Guam. Guam is about 10 years behind the rest of the U.S. in renewable energy. Uh, we have a lot of catching up to do, and I think we have something, or at least I have something that I can bring to the table. Former Senator and current CCU member Benigno Palomo is number seven. Although unavailable for an on-camera interview, he says he is a strong individual who wants to ensure the system is fixed so people have adequate power and water. And at number eight is Joseph George Bamba, who not only served as a senator, but chief of staff for two governors. I think it's incumbent on the CCU to focus on, since they're elected by the people at large, to focus on the needs of the ratepayers and the consumers. You know, uh, because and lessen the burden of the power uh, costs on them. At number nine is William Payne, who considers himself a true blue collar product. Well, I want to be able to contribute and add to the uh, worker bee uh, uh, upgrades. And I want to make sure that we have competent technical people running the show. You know, it, it just can't be one or two people for the rest of our lives. Number 10 is Jose Servino, who was an engineer for the Defense Department for 30 years. I think customer service is very important. Uh, I hear a lot of people complaining. I want to be able to help uh, people out, uh, resolve their issues. Uh, another thing is uh, I want to try and eliminate some of these high costs uh, that happened in the past. And rounding out the list of candidates is current CCU member Eloy Hara at number 11. And, uh, we already have uh, all of our integrated resource, plan, resource plans, our master plans, and you know, our, um, our progress is uh, ongoing, and I want to serve uh, four more years so I can see all those plans that we put together through fruition. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by Triple J, celebrating 30 years of putting our customers first.